my whole thing with frame is you got to know who you are before you before you invite anyone else into it. Um, you know, I just moved to this new city on the other side of the country in the U.S. and I'm here for a limited time. I travel a lot for work, so you know, when I'm in town, I want to have a good time. And uh, I've been seeing this chick a little bit younger than me for a couple months. She sat she sat me down, had the uh, what are we talk. And I was just like, look, I'm here to have a good time. And, you know, I think you're wonderful. I've had a blast with you, but I'm not looking for anything too serious right now. And uh, lo and behold, she was like, all right, not not feeling this right now. Wanted something. How old was she? She 20. She's 22. Okay. She's 22 at the time. All right. Uh, Didn't talk to her for three months. You know, kind of felt bad that it ended so abruptly. But then lo and behold, you know, about a month ago at two o'clock in the morning, I get a drunken booty call. And now she's coming over in two hours. So, mm. you know, you just got to hold your frame and realize that they're going to try to, you know, bring you into theirs to some extent. Yeah, it's, yeah. Um, yeah, it's a really yeah. good point. Because, I mean, like you made your in- intentions and your expectations clear. <clears throat> she said that didn't work for her, so yeah. she bounced. Yeah. But she decided to come back when it worked out for her, though, right? I mean, you know, you, you then became a, a better option or an acceptable option. A few months later, uh, Rich, you, you you also yeah. got a set precedent from very early on. What what I've noticed, like what you said in one of your one of your clips, is like, you know, I'm off to put my dent in the universe. When when you first meet girls on dates off the apps, and they'll say, "What what are you looking for?" I said, "I'm not really looking for anything. I got my plan. I know where I'm going. I know what I'm doing." I said, mm. "You want to get in the passenger seat and come along for the ride? It's going to be fun. Let's see where it goes." Mm-hmm. So, because you gotta say like, well, I, I, you know, you don't. I'm looking for the one true love. I want a girl that I can drink hot coffee with on crisp fall mornings and put a sweater around. No, dude, I'm about my shit. And you'll, if you want to come, you will be entertained with me. And they want an adventure. And <laughs> I, and, I, and it's uh, Derek made an excellent point. You got to know who you are. And as I said, one of the benefits of joining the community and speaking with younger guys like Moff is I've kind of embraced my. You know, the phrase I used for myself earlier, I've kind of embraced all that, you know, Bill Burr meets Jared Butler in a rom-com, and I love it. And girls seem to like it too. Yeah. Um, Jaron, did you get your mic working again? Yeah, there's a major delay. <laughs> Something's going on with that. <laughs> <laughs> He might as well be on the planet Neptune. With he's, he's got the spinning wheel of death happening right uh, now. It just crashed. <laughs> All right. Um, what I was else do we need to- I wanted to ask Chad because I think I, I've had some good chats with Chad on like my stereo show, and I think Derek, there's an echo on your end. If you go on mute, uh, um, yeah. This there is something go. that Chad and I talk about a bunch, and I think this is something that is really permeating the space and just in general. Is this idea about? Uh, men need to be more emotional, men need to be more vulnerable, et cetera, et cetera. I, I would love to hear Chad's perspective because I know that it's changed from like day one or early weeks of dating to now where, you know, it's why don't you open up more? Why don't you talk about this more or this and that? Or tell me what's going on because Chad is, if you guys don't know, he runs businesses, a very successful guy. So um, I'd love to kind of hear his take on, on how he's maintained frame um, throughout this LTR. There's, uh, you know, you would think um, over a long period of time, there might be some more, you know, emotional talks and stuff like that, but there's less. It's actually less. I literally, I'm like, this is how it's going to be. This is what's going on. This weekend is, you know, this weekend we're going here or we make a plan or whatever. But as far as like, um, you know, she'll ask me, you know, of course, I mean, I've known her for four years. She'll ask me, you know, how's your day? Stuff like that. And I'll be like, awesome. Or, you know, well, day went to shit, but I'm turning it around. And, you know, by the end of the day, the the ship will be going in the direction I want it to go. Because, you know, if it, it if every day is perfect, I mean, come on, that's not reality. So I'm willing to say, yeah, my day was shitty today, but I got it turned around. No big deal. How was your day? You know, but any emotion in the relationship is projected by her. I bring, I, I focus on bringing emotion out of a woman, any, any girl that I've ever, that I date, you know, 
since I've come into this space six years ago, um, I focus on the emotional connection because like I, like we had said before, a woman wants to be in a fairy tale. They want to be in a love story and you being the emotional tampon of that arrangement is not a fairy tale for a woman. So for me, it's, you know, holding the frame, being masculine. This is what I'm doing. This is where I'm going. Get on the ship. It's sailing with or without you kind of thing. That has been through the whole relationship. And any time, I mean, I literally pay attention. Any time that I've just had a bad day and I'm you know in a bad mood or whatever, she completely changes. Her countenance, the way she acts, the way she talks, the tone of her voice will change. A woman, literally, if she's in your frame, her whole entire emotional state will change with your emotional state changing. Yeah. So the it's more you can be true. that, yeah, the more that you can be that rock, you're a fucking mountain. Nothing is going to move you. you sh the world could collapse. You're going to rebuild it. You still got this, man. Meteors yeah, and, coming to strike the earth. Yeah. I got this, babe. Don't worry about it. Thing. I got this. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. And, and so, and it, because it's all about emotion. It, there's no explanation. There's no logic. There's no nothing. It's all about emotion and the emotional response you bring out of a woman. That's you, it. You uh, uh, touched on something that was interesting there for a second. I mean, like you were talking about like managing the frame and uh, like even something as simple as I'm not a talkative guy, you know, when it comes to just like small chat, blah, 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 bullshit, you know, like how was your day? What did you think of the weather today? And da, 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 da. And it's like, yeah. I don't have those conversations. So like early on for me, it's, it's, it's straight up like, you know, hop on a quick, you know, phone call to coordinate something if you need to, or it's like basic conversations with, with text, but none of this hammering back and forth all night long for hours. Yeah. I mean, who's got time for that when you got yeah. shit to do. Right. Yeah, and then you don't have anything to talk about when you take them on a date on the weekend. Cause you right. freaking put it all out during the week. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that, that, yeah. if you want, if you want an advanced game for an LTR, <clears> stop <throat> fucking talking so much. Yeah. I mean, good Lord, be a, guys. Be a little bit mysterious, guys. You know, it's 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 definitely going to help can. you more than it hurts you for sure. Yeah. Let me grab some of these super can. chats. And Frame and really is everything ultimately. Rule. What's that? I said apply that two thirds rule. Yeah, exactly. That's mm -hmm. the um, uh, 16 commandments of uh, Poon. Uh, frame really is everything. Ultimately, game is a demonstration of one's ability to maintain mental point of origin. You cannot fake congruence. Work on you first. Much love. Thanks, brother. Appreciate that.